Today is the announcement of the hockey team that will head to the Youth Olympic Games in Nanjing, China. To date, 65 athletes have been selected in the 2014 Australian Youth Olympic team. Hockey at the Youth Olympics is a complementary version of the game known as Hockey Fives. It comprises of simplified rules and more excitement for the fans. Australia will be competing against nine nations for that gold medal. Joining me today is Alex Rasmussen, who is from Perth and was the highest goal scorer at this year's national championships, and Max Hendry from Melbourne, who trains alongside the members of Kookaburras and have both been selected in the hockey team to compete at the Youth Games in August. Well done in selection and thanks for joining me today, guys. No worries. <laughs> Max, first to you, tell us about your path to being selected in the Youth Olympic team today. How have you come to this point? Well, I started playing hockey when I was eight years old, um, all because my cricket coach said in the off-season I should keep my hand eye in. And ever since then, I've never really looked back at cricket. I kind of quit that. Um, the first ever state team I made was under-12s, schoolboys. Um, actually missed out the first year I trialled, so it was good to get that one off the back. And then under 13s, um, captain, and we actually won one year, I think. Yeah, we did. And um, then progressively through under 15s, uh, bottom age, top age, and then under 18s uh, this year, earlier this year, in Canberra, and had a trial, five aside and was lucky enough to get picked, so pretty, yeah. Oh. Nice one. Alec, on to you. You began playing hockey at the age of seven in Queensland, and you're now playing in Perth, but you've also played for the Northern Territory in between that. Tell us about your hockey career up to now. Uh, yeah, so I grew up in Townsville. I started playing hockey about seven. Um, I was like, my brother and sister both played at a pretty high level, so... I was always in the backyard hitting with them. Uh, my first state team was the same as Max, the under 12s, um, Queensland side. And then after that, like the following year, um, didn't make any state teams. And I kind of went into a low patch and then came, uh, moved over to Perth uh, in 2012 and tried for the WA 15s and didn't get in. Um, but through my school coach, uh, I got asked to play for the Northern Territory side, and um, at that tournament, I actually got uh, apparently runner-up part of the tournament, so I was pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't know. People were saying it's a bit unfortunate not to get in, but I don't know. And um, so yeah, after that, next year, uh, it's proud for the under-18s because uh, I, I talked to the coach in the practice match, and he said, "Yeah, give it a go." And I did, and I got in, so that was good. Um, and then the following year, I made it again, and then trials and the Youth Olympics, and here I am. Well done. Seems like a nice journey. Max, back to you. Are you happy with your form after competing at the National Champs in Canberra for the Victorian number one team? Yeah, very happy so far. Um, got back to Melbourne and had a few training sessions and felt pretty crisp on the ball. Seeing them pretty pretty clearly, and a uh, couple games I've played since Canberra, we've done pretty well. Got a couple touches, and yeah, it's not been too bad. Pretty good at the moment. Good to hear. Um, Alec, on to you. You train and play with Olympians. What is that experience like for you, and how will it help you ahead of Nanjing? Uh, I really enjoy it. Um, it's really good to be. It's really easy to link up with them, and you kind of just point and lead and the ball, like, you just turn around, the ball's on the end of your stick, so it's really good to play with them and kind of just watch the things they do at training and you can bring that into your own game. And it, I think it really improves me each training session and I always like talking to them. They always have helpful tips, so it's really good. And it, yeah, it's a good motivator as well to see what they do and what I can work on to reach their level. Definitely. We'll stay on to you. Your coach is David Guest, who is also the youth team coach that we're heading over to Nanjing with you. How will this help you prepare for Nanjing? Um, it's good, yeah, because I know what Guest is like, so I can kind of um, 
uh, kind of work on things that I know he's looking for. So to give an advantage to uh, to his game plan that he's going to take away. Yeah, definitely, nice one. Max, on to you. You also play and train alongside the Kookaburras. For example, Lachlan Dreyer, George Bazaley, and Andrew Flippott, uh, who have played for the Kookaburras, as I said. How has that been for you? Is it similar to Alex's experience? Yeah, very similar to Alex. Um, just the way they go about everything that comes with hockey, the way they prepare for games, the way they train. They, for a lot of them, they train harder than they play, so it's just really interesting to see what they do to just get in the zone and what they actually do on the pitch. As Alex said, the, the leading, the passing, the keying in with players, it's just that next level that um, I think all the boys going away would want to aspire to. Definitely. Um, as I mentioned at the start of this hangout, you'll be playing Hockey Fives at the Youth Olympic Games. How have you found it so far? Um, hockey Fives, it's going to be a different experience. Um, I haven't played all that much and I don't play that much indoor. We had one um, trial at, on a rest day up in, up in Canberra and that was, that was a different experience which was extremely fun. The shorter pitch, the boards on the side, it's going to be really, really fast paced, really intense and lots of skill involved. So it should be re a really good experience. And Nanjing's going to be hot so you have to keep the water yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alec, on to you. You recently travelled to Singapore as part of the WA National uh, Hockey League training squad. How was that experience for you, especially heading up to Nanjing, and that's obviously an international experience for you? Yeah, um, yeah, it's good to get kind of the first international uh, hockey game under, uh, under your belt before going away. And also, uh, I think China would be kind of similar to Singapore in that it would be really humid, so I guess I know what to expect when you're actually playing under hot and humid conditions rather than, like, rather than just being there, you actually know what it's like to play there. So, good, yeah. good to hear. And um, back to national chance for you, Alec. You were the highest goal scorer. Tell us about that fantastic weekend for you. Um, yeah, like I, I was just trying to uh, do what, like, score as many goals for my team. Like, I wasn't I wasn't like, going after that or anything like that. I was just trying to um, play my hockey and it just kind of ended up that way. I was just, I don't know, I guess just getting into good positions and a lot of um, a lot of the video that we watched, all the goals came through the whole team. Like, so, yeah, it was good to put them away, but, yeah, it came from our team effort as well. That's good to hear. It's always about the team. Um. Max, on to you finally. What are you looking uh, forward most to about the Youth Olympic Games? I think the main thing is just to experience everything, just the culture of China. I've never been to China before, let alone play a hockey tournament there. So just experience and take in as much as possible because it could be, it's a once in a lifetime thing. So I'm just going to try to take in as much as I can, improve on my skills. Uh, learn some stuff from all the coaches and maybe some other play and other players in the team, and just really enjoy it. I think definitely. And where do you see yourself after the Youth Olympic Games? Um, I'd like to I'd like to make other national teams. I think this selection in this team has really made me think I can actually go further than further than this and where I, where I want to, which is. They're obviously the Kookaburras, the senior Kookaburras, and the Olympics, um, senior Olympics. So that's where I want to get to, and I think this is going. This is a good stepping stone, and it's going to really drive me towards that goal. Definitely, good to hear. Alec, on to you. What are you looking most forward to about uh, Nanjing? Um, playing there, or actually just uh, going to the Olympic Village. The whole, the whole experience. Oh, um, oh, I've, I've talked to a lot of people, um, like Daniel Beal for one, and uh, Graham Reed, who is obviously like assistant coach of the Kookaburras, and they've both said, you just got to take it in. Like, it's an unforgettable, ex unforgettable experience. Like uh, Beal's been there, and he said, yeah, you just got to take it up as much as you can, and um, really enjoy your time there. And I think. Um, 
but uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the whole Olympic experience, I guess. And yeah, and then also playing there, I think with the five-side comp, there's a lot more opportunities for goals, which is always good. So I'm looking forward to that for sure. That's, that's always good for you, especially when you're a striker. Yeah. So now onto the big announcement, guys. The youth hockey team that will be travelling to Nanjing in August will be from Victoria, Jonathan Bretherton, and of course Max Hendry yourself, Max. From Queensland, Corey Weyer, Mackenzie Warren, and Tim Howard. From New South Wales, Max Hughes. And from Western Australia, of course, you, Alex, and Matthew Bird, and also Nathaniel Stewart. Congratulations to all of nine athletes named in the hockey team today. Once again, thanks for joining me today, guys, and good luck with your preparations ahead in Nanjing. Cool. Thank you very much. So including the hockey team, there are now 74 athletes selected in the Australian Youth Olympic team. Well done to all. To keep up to date on the road to Nanjing, head to olympics.com.au and follow at Oz Olympic Team to, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Google+. Thanks for your company. I'm Philip Brent.